Hello everyone and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name Tete Tete and I offer you um, information on how to apply for postgraduate courses and scholarships ranging from Erasmus Mundus to scholarships in the UK and beyond. If this is the first time you are watching any video on my channel, you are gladly welcome to the community. Kindly hit on the subscription button and then the post notifications so that as and when I release a new video, you, you would be the first to be notified don't forget to give a thumbs up for this video to help us increase our numbers as a community so now let's talk about emotion emotion is an Erasmus Mundus joint master and applications will open on February 1st 2024 Yes, applications are not yet open, so I am telling you in advance before the application portal opens so that you start gathering and putting your documents down. And once applications are open, you can do it very fast, straight to the point. Now let's get into the video. All right, so we are on the official page of Emotion, which is an Erasmus Mundus Joint Master's degree. So Emotion stands for the European Master of Science in Skin and Health Care. Okay, so a Master of Science in Skin and Health Care. So let's look at what Emotion is all about. Emotion is an Erasmus Mundus Joint Master program funded by the European Commission that educates the future generation of translational scientists in the skin health and care sector. So Emotion is a two-year thought program that involves you studying in universities across Europe that is starting from Italy, then you move to Spain, and then you also get to study in Belgium. And Emotion is a unique program that covers the entire spectrum of activities of R&D from ideation to marketing. The consortium alongside academics involves several industrial partners and many lectures are held by guest lecturers that work in the field. Okay, so you'll be getting practical experiences from lecturers who work in the field of practice. Okay, so you can just scroll down and see the number of people who have won scholarships on emotion and then you can meet um, the staff, the students and all this. Okay, so now let's, let's just check out the application process. Okay, let's move straight to the points. So let's look at the documents that you would need in your application and mind you, I would be inputting all the relevant links that you would need to do this application. Although the application portal is not yet open, I can still direct you to the portal in advance so that once the portal opens, you just click on the link in my description and then you can start your application. All right, so this is the overview. So there are three kinds of applicants for the Emotion program, Erasmus Plus scholarship applicants, non-fee paying self-funded applicants, and then fee paying self-funded applicants. Don't worry about all these three. What we are focusing on is the Erasmus Plus scholarship applicants, okay? Because we are applying for the scholarship, okay? Students with Erasmus Plus scholarship receive a scholarship of 1,400 euros per month for 24 months, okay? So for every month in the next two years, you are going to get 1,400 euros every month. Students do not have to pay participation costs. You do not have to pay any tuition fees. The scholarship covers your tuition fees, okay? So health insurance, university registration, and student services are also covered by the scholarship. Scholarship holders are required to cover the cost of mobility. That is your travel, your visa, your residence permits fees according to the obligatory emotion mobility part from their monthly scholarships. So your travel, your visa, and your residence permits fees, you must take them out of your 1,400 euros per month. They should tell you that you shouldn't spend the money by heart, as my typical Ghanaian person would tell you. You don't spend the money by heart. You should manage your finances very well because you will be 
traveling or moving from one country to the other you would also have to um book your own accommodation and also sometimes have to pay for residence fees and which would be taken from this thousand four hundred euros that you receive monthly okay and note there are no additional payments for travel and installments so you should be able to manage the thousand four hundred euros very very well okay so this is our focus and then we move down okay so this is a, like a roadmap of how the program is going to be like so intake 2024 to 2026 so from 1st to 29th february so the whole of february is the application period for the first round once you're applying for the erasmus Mundus scholarship your focus should just be on the first round forget about the second round the second round you have to pay your own tuition and cover your travel installment and everything no monthly stipend or anything in the second round so let's just focus on the first round and that is where the scholarship applicants for erasmus Mundus can choose and apply for okay so our focus is on the first round and then uh, the program is going to start in September 2024 okay so this is a roadmap of how the whole program is going to be like but then all we are concerned about right now is applying for the program okay so let's look at the entry requirements the things that you would need before you can start this program okay so first and foremost you need a bachelor's degree or higher right so let's just click on the small arrow here okay so a bachelor degree or higher degree from a recognized academic higher education institution equivalent to a european undergraduate degree of 180 ects in a field related to the program area with a background in both biology and chemistry okay so if you studied pharmacy medicine biology pharmaceutical sciences biotechnology biochemistry biomedical sciences and a degree judge as equivalent then you can apply for this program the grade average of the previous study should prove high qualification of the applicant okay so you should make sure that your grades are good so if you had um, first class or second class you can apply for this scholarship if you studied any of the courses that i mentioned a minute or some few seconds ago okay so you are required to provide documentation of a finalized first degree by the deadline of the application okay so a transcript with your final grade and stating that you finalize the degree is accepted a final degree diploma must be presented by the time of enrollment okay by the time of enrollment you should have presented your final degree moving on let's look at the english certification okay so the proof of english proficiency documented by an internationally recognized certificate at least level b2 for non-native speakers of english only okay so accepted certificate so you look at the ielts the TOEFL, and then the rest okay the certificate is not considered valid when it is older than five years so bear that in mind if you are providing any language certificate however my beautiful people from ghana and nigeria i know i have a bias towards them but you can't blame me uh we are exempted from this english language requirement and i'm going to explain why in a few seconds okay so the consortium considers the countries listed below as countries of native english speakers okay so when you read through the countries and you come to g you know there's ghana there when you come to n you know that there is nigeria there okay so we have ghana here and then we have Nigeria here, okay? Other notable um, countries in Africa that speak English include um, Uganda, Sierra Leone. I think I saw Malawi. Yes, there is Malawi. There's Liberia. There's Zambia and Zimbabwe. There's Tanzania. Okay, so you can look through the countries and see if your country is exempted and see if your country is exempted from the English language test, okay? Candidates from these countries, the countries above, are not required to attach any other evidence of English proficiency, okay? So let's move on to the application procedure, okay? So the link for applying will be accessible from February 1st until February 28th for the first round, okay? All deadlines are 23 59 
our Central European time, that is the CET. So the application process is organized by the University of the pronunciation, I might get it wrong. So let's say University of Oriental and all the required documents must be submitted online, okay? So this is the link. I'm going to insert it in the description so that from 1st February, you just click on it and then you can start your application process, okay? So let me just take you to the link right now. But it says you are welcome. Please select the form you need. But no form is here at the moment because the application portal has not been open. So now let's talk about the documents that you would need to apply for emotion. Okay. So first and foremost, you need the declaration form. You can download here the declaration form. Okay. So just click on the hyperlink here and then you would be able to download the declaration form. Once you do that, you just fill in the details and then you save it in the PDF format okay so the next thing you need is your cv and your cv has to be in english provided with a date and then a signature it should also present your qualification experiences and skills effectively and then clearly i would advise you to use the europass cv format i have already made a video of how to generate your own europass cv on this channel so i'm just going to insert the link for you you can watch how to generate your europass cv and then you are good to go the next thing you need is a scanned copy of your original university degree diploma okay so this is just your undergraduate degree certificate that you got once you graduated from your course so you need to scan it and then you save it in the pdf format and then you upload it as part of your document okay so the next thing you need is academic records okay so a scanned copy of your transcript from your university which has all your courses that you study stated on it and then the grades that you obtained so you need to scan the original official transcript that you received once you graduated from school okay the next thing is the english proficiency i have already spoken about the english proficiency so then uh, once you are coming from ghana in nigeria you are exempted from providing any english proficiency as i explained earlier on okay the next thing you need is identification document id so that is black and black and white copy of a valid id document or passport which states the citizenship okay so you just scan um your id and the place where you have your picture and your details you just scan it and then you save it in a pdf format and then you upload it as part of your application the next thing is a motivation letter and it has to be in english the maximum is 750 words in the letter the candidate should explain how past experiences have prepared him or her for participation in a motion. How this program is likely to improve his or her own career perspectives, why the candidate is interested in the program, and which is the mobility track that he or she foresees to follow. Handwritten letters are not accepted. If your last degree is older than five years, Please make sure to explain in your letter why you chose to go back to university. Emotion qualifies students for a master's degree. If you already hold one, you should convincingly justify the reasons for wanting to pursue a new master's in your letter. I know, right? I said a lot. Let me break it down. Okay, so you need a motivation letter to explain um, your reason for uh, applying for emotion okay you should also discuss your career perspective in this motivation letter so what i would do is that I'm, i am going to insert a link on how to write a statement of purpose which also passes as a letter of motivation in four simple steps once you watch that video just come back and then read about um, what emotion also wants you to do and then put the two together and you will be good to go in writing the motivation letter but bear in mind the maximum words should be 750 words this is a, this is approximately about two pages you shouldn't exceed the word limit please bear that in mind okay so if you studied if your degree is more than five years old then you have to explain in your letter why you chose to go back to your, the university so bear that in mind and also if you already have a master's degree you should explain why you want to study on the emotion course okay so this is the letter of motivation 
So the next thing that you are going to need is a reference letter, okay? With most programs, they demand two reference letters, but for emotion, you just need one reference letter, okay? Either one from um, your university professor or from your employer. So you have the flexibility to choose whether you get an academic reference or a professional reference. The only requirement is that the contact details of the person providing the reference must be clearly typed and must contain a working email address and a telephone number. This implies that once your referee writes the letter, he or she must include his or her email address as well as telephone number in the reference letter, okay? And the reference letter should be addressed to the Joint Admission Board Emotion Master, okay? So just bear that in mind, okay? So let's note some important things before we conclude with this video, all right? So only complete online applications are eligible and can be assessed, okay? So you have to complete your application before it can be assessed. Beware that the application and all attachments have to be filled in one session as the system does not allow to save the data and continue later, okay? So just make sure that you have all your documents in place before you start the application process. With some applications, you can start your application, save, and then come back and continue later. But the Emotion application platform does not allow you to do that. So you have to do the application at a go. Once you start, you have to finish in that same session, okay? So avoid waiting for the last minute of the deadline date as the platform might experience technical issues that would delay your submission. So Ghana man time, I beg you. In Ghana, they say Ghana man time. Don't wait for the Ghana man time. Apply as soon as possible when the platform opens, okay? Don't wait for a last minute. Last days are dangerous, okay? If the system registers the time of submission after the deadline, that is 23.59 Central European time on the 29th of February, you will not be considered eligible, okay? So if you... you you do not meet the deadline, you will not be considered eligible. Once you submit the form, you would not be able to make any changes. So bear that also in mind. And after you have submitted your form, you are going to receive a confirmation email, okay? So the Secretariat and Joint Admission Board will verify the authenticity of the documents that you have provided, especially your previous diplomas and transcripts. That is up to them. They will do the necessary research that they have to do. And But note that presenting fraudulent documents or other forms of cheating will ban you from admission and future application procedures okay so just bear that in mind okay so this is how you can apply for the emotion program i'm going to insert all the relevant links in the description so that application becomes very very simple for you also i'm going to put the application portal link in the description although applications are not yet open i'm going to put the link there so once applications open once you click on the link you can start your application procedure very very fast and then straight to the point bear in mind you can only do it in one session so make sure you have all your documents together before you start applying so this is how you can apply for the emotion course just put in your application as soon as possible i wish you all the best in your application stay blessed and i'll catch you on the flip side i'm out